Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about software requirements in the subject of software engineering. So basically, we have different uh, phases in the SDLC, right? Among that, requirements is the first phase. So what what is there in requirements? Uh, what are the different types of requirements we have? That we will see in this video. Okay, first. And finally, first chapter is completed. So bye bye to all those diagrams and all. So now uh, let us discuss about requirements. And before that, I have started a new channel with study abroad content. If you are having interest, I will give the link of the channel in the description box. Have a look. Now, first, what do you mean by requirements? You already know, but let us once try to understand what is the formal definition of the word requirement. First, it is the services not is are are the services that the user will expect from the system or system here system refers to software or project anything okay now don't get confused okay so what are the services that the user is expecting suppose you are purchasing a mobile phone okay no mobile phone let us go go to our classic building example only so if you if you want a house then you will have some requirements right you say like i want two halls i want three bedrooms i want a kitchen i want four washrooms like that you will have some requirements right so all those services that you are expecting from that house are your requirements so in the same way all the services or features that the customer is ex expecting from our website or software are called as the requirements and gathering the requirements how do you gather the requirements it is done by communicating with the user got it done next so actually in requirements we have two functional and non-functional this is based on the functionality we again have user requirements system requirements and all but this is based on the functionality of the system we have two types okay so let us uh, see those two things uh, the next categories i'll explain in the next video uh, first is a functional requirements functional requirements simple they will describe the functionality of the system functionality of the system in the sense how the system is work sorry 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 not how the system is working what are the functions that are provided by the system that will be given by the functional requirements that is the what are the features that are provided by the system in order to satisfy the customers and these functional requirements should always be complete and what consistent. do you mean by complete that is all services which the user is expecting all those should be satisfied and consistent means like the requirements should not have any contradictions okay so complete means the all the requirements that the user is requ uh, requesting should be satisfied and consistent in the sense the software should not have any sorry contradictions right contradictions okay done sorry requirements should not have any contradictions next so this is about the functional requirements next non-functional requirements in functional you don't have any further subcategories okay in non-functional requirements they are not directly related to the functionality of the system okay that means they are they it the non-functional requirements will not show you the features which are given by the system but what they will show they will show how those features are provided here only the list of features is provided but here it will show the implementation of those features as well that is how you are implementing those features got it that is about the non-functional requirements and these non-functional requirements are not needed to the user and they are very important when compared to the functional requirements done got it so main thing is 
what is the difference between functional and non functional functional will give you the features which are provided by the system whereas non functional will explain you how those features are provided that is not needed for the customer okay they are abstracted and we have different types of non functional requirements under functional we don't have any sub categories but in non functional we have so we have three sub categories let us now understand what are those three sub categories so in non functional requirements we have three types product requirement or uh, requirements organizational requirements and external requirements so let us see what each of them is first product requirements what product requirements will do is they will specify that the delivered product must behave in a particular way that is it has to have reliability it has to have so and so efficiency it has to give so and so percent uh, performance like that it will give you the product requirements will give you the uh, you know measures we can say it will specify the delivered product that is the delivered software must have uh, so and so qualities okay that is about the product requirements the next is the organizational requirements so uh, in organizational requirements it is very simple again it specifies that is the requirements uh, that are that will specify the organizational policies and procedures that is if you are working in an organization that organization will have some rules right suppose in a college we have some rules right uh, like um, uh, no ragging you should not carry cell phones uh, and also you will have some rules so the organization also will have some rules so the requirements which will specify the organization's policies procedures rules and all will come under the organizational requirements got it for example process standards and its implementation that is you are um, you know defining a process or a project or a product or a software whatever it is what are the standards that the product have to maintain mm -hmm. and how do you implement those standards got it? that is about the organizational requirements right next after organizational requirements the third one is the external requirements so external requirements is also again simple the requirements that arise from the external process of the system that is outside the system which are not in the system the requirements which arise you know they arise uh, from the external environment of the system will come under these external requirements example interoperability interoperability means you know right uh, two systems must be able to not only two systems it has to be work with any it has to work with anything it has to operate under any environment that will come under the external requirements fine so that's all for this video again a short video uh, so Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic and if you are still having any video suggestions or any topic suggestions for me, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic. Till then stay tuned to my channel for more such videos.